Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Sig Sauer P365 Tech Pack. This combination is what Sig offers. They started this about a year and a half ago. Many people got in the Tech Pack deal. It goes around $600 on average and I was able to pick this up locally. Now every time I featured a Sig Sauer P365, I borrowed it. And I've always wanted one, something always came up that I couldn't live without and so I never got that but I continued to borrow them as I did comparisons and other things but I knew I needed the P365 I mentioned this was the firearm that started it all the micro subcompact some people will say it's the Kel-Tec P11 others will say it's the Glock 26 I say it's the P365 they started the real micro compact double stack nine millimeter handgun that has become so popular and then you know many others followed suit january of 2018 about three and a half years ago is when this was released initially came out there were some problems but six hour cleaned them up and a lot of people carry this handgun with confidence you may notice this is the non-safety model i'm happy about that and i got a very good deal the gentleman i bought it from great guy I've had such good experiences buy, selling, and trading with people locally. I, I do treasure those times. We stuck around and talked for quite a bit, but he sold this to me. Now, when he sold it, it had talon grips on there. I took them off. I wanted the little heavier stippling on there, but he also added the X trigger, flat face trigger. Measures right at five and a quarter pounds, and so if you like the X trigger, that's available for about 50 bucks he added that so i think i mentioned i paid five and a quarter now my sig x compact has the x trigger all right if it says x on there chances are it has the x trigger and it breaks right around the same same weight so i was happy about that now the tech pack offers three 12 round magazines a little bit of a larger case and a kydex holster now, the three 12-round magazines, I think, is just a bonus. Everybody wants mags. They want higher-capacity mags. And the 12-rounders allow three-finger contact, giving you a full grip on the pistol. It also comes with this holster. Now, this is an ambidextrous holster. You can see it has these clips here. You can make it left-handed, right-handed, inside the waistband, outside the waistband. It comes with these additional clips here. You can pop, pop those on and run a belt through them if that is your choice. And it's okay. It will get you to the point until you get another holster. <laughs> That's what I think. Now, it, you know, just to use it and to in, enjoy it, possibly, you know, it, it'll get you to that point. But it's just not a great holster. You can see it does have retention. I just struggled to pull it out. But I do enjoy the Sig Sauer. I always have the P365. And I look forward to comparing it. Now I took it to the range already. Because I am prepping for a comparison. With the P365 versus the M&P Shield Plus. Highly requested, by the way. When I featured this, a lot of people said, I want to know the difference between that and the P365. So I've been working on that. Shot these side by side. And I have my opinions already. But I will be sharing that shortly. And I'm also going to do a compilation with the P365, the Springfield Armory Hellcat, the Shield Plus, the Ruger Max 9, the Taurus GX4. And so in order to do that, I needed a P365. And I saw this deal with the TAC Pack and... I have no regrets and I got a good deal and the gentleman was very very fair and included the flat trigger and the no safety model he didn't do that but it does have the 3.1 inch barrel and the day night uh, night sights okay x-ray 3 sig calls it and of course the three 12 round magazines the front serrations the rail for sig optics and everything else that people love with the P365 plus P rated and enjoys a, an incredible reputation and I'm happy to finally own one and so I have big plans guys big plans with this gun and many others in the same class I still say Sig Sauer started the micro compact you know where there's not a great difference with the grip width 
with some of those single stack nines that were so popular years ago the double stacks seem to have really taken off and not great price differences and the additional capacity is always a nice touch so that's what i got guys i got the tack pack model i bought it used from an awesome guy who sold it to me for a fair deal five and a quarter i'm happy to have it and i have big plans with compilations and comparisons as well as just some additional range time with this p365 that i've wanted for a long time put it off long enough and now it was time to jump on it if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe